What up, y'all? This is Mel and Keisha back with another in chat. I'm Mel. I'm Keisha. And this is a walk in the fat woman's shoes. How y'all doing out there tonight, MK Saints, visitors, passing throughs? Uh, tonight's eating chat, I made me a salad. I know you don't see no lettuce. Don't worry, you won't see it. And Keisha made herself a pizza. I also robbed my sons of a chicken tender and a grilled chicken sandwich. So, uh, I have this. Y'all remember I brought this? I'm going to try it today. And we're drinking on it. Girl, it's true. Big girl is not here, but she will do what? Nothing. Save you. And of course, yes, she will. Yes, she mm -hmm. will. How to get a big girl, a big soul, a big baby, even a male baby. Will be in the description box below. See, you're going to click that link. You're going to get yourself one. You owe it to yourself. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. You ready? Yeah. I know what I can see, but the only name is the in it. Amen. Amen. So what's going on with you guys well, tonight? Well, you say, let us know what y'all eating and if y'all eating with us. Also, let us know what's going on in y'all nigga the woods, how's your weather treating you, and what y'all did today. Y'all know I want to know I'm nosy. I'm nosy. Y'all know I'm nosy. I have a uh, chuck roast, the chuck roast that I uh, cooked in the Instant Pot. I made it out of a pizza. I had, Basically, it's just a chicken crust pizza with the uh, chuck roast. Some mozzarella cheese, some black olives, and a little parsley flakes. You gonna just be for some stocked green. up? Look at all that cheese. I'm not that. about to eat all that. Anyways, you said Big Girk can save you in a crisis. Yes. Yeah. Well, New Orleans, Louisiana, and in that area, it's going through a crisis. I don't see Big Girk helping out very much. That's because they ain't bought no Big Girk, and Big Girk comes from the coldest water. So you know, they, they want a big girt. Water invading the Mississippi. If they want a big girt. How is big girt going to help that out? If they want a big girt, they can get it. How is big girt going to help with the she crisis? You in? That's not the crisis she helping you in. Man, they had a wreck on the, uh, the twin spans yesterday because the city of New Orleans is like in the early morning, in the late, the early evening. You know, around dusk and dawn, you can't see because there's a fog and there's a, I think my sister told me Bayou Survive is on fire. Wow. Oh, my salad, I have butter lettuce, boiled eggs, I have imitation crab meat, I have beets, onions, pickled okra, black olives. Red peppers, excuse me, pepper jack and feta cheese. Hmm. Think they can make a pepper jack feta cheese? Probably. And, oh, I got ham. Uh, Y'all, I'm a little quiet because I'm a little shaky. And I haven't ate all day. This, this sandwich here that I got from my son, this is a grilled chicken sandwich. And this one right here, do me. It's the um crispy chicken strip. Man. It's just whenever my sugar is in the 80s and 90s, I get a little shaky. But it's fine. It just has to, uh, you know, so like, be so You think they're trying to be YouTube famous too? Oh. You know, mm -mm. nah, you told me, uh, eat the baby. I got the baby. I wasn't the baby. The baby was too burnt. No, I think this is going to be good enough. You just so saying that because you know if I don't eat this salad. No, I'm full. Oh, now no, you I'm can get rid of it. 
That's how many mustard you dipping that in? No, it's just all cream pepper. Oh. It's actually good. Mm -hmm. Oh. They're coming up with hot wings. Mm, let's we'll see. About that today, I was like, "What? The W? funny y'all to me I really need water burger grilled chicken sandwiches basically since I come out here and my friends ain't never wanted now that's all one over me You need to chop it up and put it in the, in the tortilla. With the bell, You're bell doing too much, son. The bell peppers, onions, and chop up the chicken and put it in the burrito. I normally get mine on the uh, on the brown breed. Y'all still do the wheat rolls? No. No burritos, No wheat rolls. No, we don't have that no more. I need y'all opinion. Not, I'm not gonna say they don't matter, but look. Somebody told me what's the use of throwing them a party if it ain't the party they want? Nah. It's just because. And if you talking about me, in the graduation party. You ain't even let me finish. Go ahead. How the hell? Go ahead. Because. Like I got you know, all that all day cooking. Hmm. You want me to do all day cooking, or you want me at the graduation? You know, and I so you get to together cook. after the, the graduation, same day. Yeah, see. I don't know, cook and myself. How and graduate? Cause. It was gonna be later in the day. I told her, you know, I got the party in my home, all that and whatever, whatever. She told me, 
Maybe this is not what I want. So I'll let you do what you want, but I'm I'm just saying you're not gonna do at least one thing that I would want. So you know, what's one thing you want? Um, I just I, I want it to. I want it to be special. I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be nice. And I know the vision that I have in my head. You ain't gonna pull that. You're not gonna pull that. I know the vision I have in my head. I have stuff written down. And I'm still writing. You know. And I mean, don't get me wrong, if she could pull she could pull some bad some badass parties. It's just what my colors which honestly I don't really like it is black white and silver I mean blue silver and white and I mean I know that's my colors we've had the black and gold party before we you know we've done black and gold several times but this time you know I want to do my school colors you know and uh Shit, you know, do the uh, GED graduation colors and stuff, graduating colors, and uh, I'm not doing. I want that. lights. I want strings of lights on, you know, for as like a backdrop, flickering lights, you know, make it look like the night sky, but on the wall, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't price the stuff and everything, you know, so. You know, I don't want to just know, oh, oh, mm, oh, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it until we get off camera. <laughs> yeah, that's not PC. <laughs> yeah, ew, uh, my hands are numb and I'm messing with you. That's why I'm not eating because my hands are numb. Want me to feed you? Mm, I'm good. I'm good because I think once I eat that, I ain't gonna be able to eat nothing else. So, what are you trying to eat? No, I, no, that's not what I'm saying. Once I eat that, I'm gonna be done for the night anyway. So, well, it don't really matter. What's the problem? I'm good, baby. They're gonna eventually stop being numb. Give me your phone. If my hand's numb, you really think I can grab that without it hurting? Well, yep. I don't want no salad. Come here. Mm -mm. No. You no. got to eat, Keisha. And I'm this is eating. And my fault. Because you won't give me your fault. I am eating. I just don't want that. Well, pick up your food and bite. I will. Finish talking. Stop this burn. Well... Then you got it on a fibromyalgia leg. Pick up your food. I'm going to just chill out. Finish talking about what what you were saying about the party. What is, what is your plan? Now why would I tell you? Mm. Yeah. I was out. Mm. Good Jesus. I'm glad she waited to call them people. Cause it still took two more days after she called them. And I was loving the climbing in here. We were messing around, had fans on and shit, like back in the day, like we was in New Orleans and shit. Yeah. All we were missing was a window unit. <laughs> 
Yeah, but they can't fix them. And there's still a fan on, because there's a fan on in my face, you know. Well, you know, when I lay down, I still have the fan on. Um, I ain't gonna lie, last night I was going through it. It was just too hot. I ain't gonna lie, last night it was hot. Even with my fan on, it was too hot. I was like, good Lord. But I still slept good. But I was mm-hmm. been in drill. Not me, I was up and down last night. No, I didn't take no Benadryl yesterday. I may have to go and get some more of them. I think they only got eight left. And me and Lonzo can't, can't, we can't do that. <laughs> That's not enough between you two? Maybe this weekend, but next weekend we're going to be fighting. Mm-mm. So y'all take one every night? Pretty much. Hmm. Uh, but the other night that boy was talking and he was in mid talking. The next thing I knew, he stopped talking. I was like, okay, so what else? What happened next, Nanny? When I looked at him, he was like, <sighs> he was asleep. I'm like, he was in mid conversation and just, just stopped. But you know, it is what it is. That's how you know when he's sleepy, you be want to beat his ass. And up. that's without a Benadryl. He, when he really sleepy, he be in mid. He, he's very, very talkative when he's in mid, when he's sleepy. He be in mid conversation and just stop. Next thing you know, he just snoring. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. Man, my neck hurt. I'm going to put that massager, that neck massager on my neck. Hmm. What's the is that? You know the thing I bought um, that you put your arms in and it go around your neck. You put your arms in it and <laughs> it put it on your neck. Mm. Man. And when I tell you that gets it get that work. That's that work. And I'm gonna need it for tomorrow cause tomorrow I go to uh physical therapy, the gym, whatever you wanna call it, and uh they gonna be I'm I'm a, look, I'm I'm just gonna need it. I'm I'm gonna need it. I'm full. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. I have not been eating like that and stuff, and I'm finding that you know I just I eat the bare minimum and I'm good. Since taking that Manjaro, I'm telling you I can go I can literally go days without eating and be good, be good without it, you know. Like I say, that thing can do something for this tire right here. Oh, look. Because honestly, man, it, it's, it's getting that workout. And I'm, you know, I'm losing again. You know, I'm losing again. And that, that's good. That's really, really good. The only time I can say I don't want to get on the scale is when she in the bathroom with me. Because then she puts her foot, you know, just... I have we have a talking scale, right? So I don't have to look down or nothing. I hear it, but you know it's just something when somebody putting their foot on there and you looking up, you looking up and straight ahead, you looking mean, straight I mean, ahead or up or whatever, and somebody putting their foot there. That me, that be lines of doing you that. That don't be me. Really, Lonzo has not been here since Sunday. Mm-hmm. This girl here. I'm gonna drink this water. I don't, I'm gonna drink this water by the whole this or whatever. I'm gonna get through it. 
I'm gonna take this wig and lipstick off, all this stuff. And get myself together for tomorrow. I'm going to bed. You was real talkative. I'm not real talkative. I'm just. I'm trying to see if that tremble going out my voice. Cause I still, I, I still feel a little shaky. It just, you know. Before this, you know, before we started, I mean, I, it was, it was really bad. It was, it was really bad, and uh, you know, I took something, and it's coming, it's coming down, you know, because see, I can feel my fingers; it don't hurt, you know. I can, I can do that. So I know, I'm, I'm getting straight. It's just, you know, my doctor was telling me, you know, by me having low sugars now, and it's not the way it used to be, like the three and four hundreds, because I used to be walking around with four and five hundred sugars and fine. I'm fine. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, like, when it would get up to over four hundred, I'm very agitated. Don't tell me nothing. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't speak to me. Nothing, because I'm very irritated I'm very agitated but then there's times when I could be walking around with four five hundred sugar and I'm fine nothing wrong I feel sometimes I feel like I'm on top of the world and I know that's not good at all not no four and five hundred sugar you know and then there's you know and now since my sugars has been like between 79 and 120 you know or even a hundred because you know lately it hasn't been going over uh, it hasn't been going over 115 and um, like when my sugars are between the 79 and 120 again you know it's like I'm very you know I'm not irritated or nothing like that I'm just very jittery or shaky you know and don't talk about like when it's 79 baby look I be down there drooling on this camera I, you know, I damn near be drooling because I'm very, very shaky. You know, he was telling me I, it, my body is going through a transition to whereas, you know, uh, by me doing what I do for it is like carnivore and stuff like that. You know, I'm not, you know, my body is adjusting to regulated sugars from what my sugars are supposed to be, you know as opposed to what they used to be, you know. So, you know, that that's I mean, it's a good thing, but you know, you got to constantly watch it. You have to constantly watch your sugar cuz I'm telling you, some days my sugar one one day I was I was relaxed in the bed getting ready to go to sleep, and all of a sudden my meter started going to beep 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 where my sugar had then dropped down to 49. And when it get low like that, I, I'm 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 really really messed up, and I'm you know I'm scared because you know when it get that low, I don't know what you know anything could happen, Damn. you know. So you know I just you know it's like I just have to watch it. I haven't been taking insulin because honestly, since I've been doing carnivore, honestly I don't need it. Only thing I've been taking is my uh. Manjaro, I take that on Saturdays, and um, I take Lantis in the morning and before bed. So, you know, that's it. Far as like you know injections, because I haven't been needing my insulin, and that's the good thing about that. So, you know, I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Sure, well, look at look at you. You talk about you was about to talk about me, but look at you. I told I you you had more, more, you had more protein and veggies in that than lectures. I know, man. But yeah, y'all, it's just my body just transitioning and stuff. So like when y'all see my baby, you know, I'm just I'm I'm not eating, you know. And I don't know, y'all let me know in the comments, you know, like on days when you know. I don't want to eat. You know, would y'all rather still see me on here with my baby while she eating and 
you know, we talking or whatever because a lot of days I don't want to eat anything. And it's like some days I'm just not finding no enjoyment in eating, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you don't find enjoyment in your eating, even though it's just that one meal for that day or whatever, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a problem. I, I guess, you know, it, it's a problem. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, I'm eating to eat because one, I'm a diabetic and I have to have, I oh. guess, something in my body. But that's why, you know, and I'm doing the carnivore, you know, it's just my body is trying to, you know, you know, get stay trying to stabilize, I guess, you know, so. And honestly, my body has to do a lot of healing, a lot of healing from all the junk that I used to put in my body. Because like I say, y'all looking, y'all see, oh, five years, y'all been on here, five, six years, y'all been on YouTube, and you was big, and you was this, man, this goes way beyond five years, you hear me? Because before YouTube, baby, look, I've been doing this, I've been doing this, you know, and I know. wish I trying to lose this weight and I wish I didn't know about carnivore back then, but I didn't. And um with carnivore, a lot of people may not see the uh what's that? See the good in it or whatever, but hey, that's on up. But because a lot of people in the beginning, you don't just lose some people do. Not everybody, because everybody's body is different. Uh, everybody don't lose weight, like, in the first two, three weeks. You might lose maybe water weight, but far as weight, weight, mm -mm. especially if you're a person like me that has ate a lot of junk, a lot of processed food. Your body has to heal. Your body has to heal, and it has to start healing for the weight loss to come. You know, and everything like that. Only thing I need to start really doing now while I'm losing this weight is weight lift. I need to weight lift. Yeah, I'm doing cardio when I go to physical therapy. You hear me? But for it's weight lifting, I'm not doing weight lifting, and I need to do that. I have weights in my house. I can use those weights, you know, to tone up my arms and stuff like that. I want to go back to the gym gym. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to do that, but I was telling my physical therapist, you know, the only reason I hadn't been really going to the gym was because of fear, and not only that, when you go to the gym, you see all these beautiful skinny people and shit, you know, and you that fat motherfucker in there, and you know they looking at you, even if they're not looking at you, you feel like they all looking at you, you know, saying shit about you, you know, but. You felt that way when we went to the swim classes? No. Why? We was, we was in water. We was in water. My body was covered. But we was the youngest ones in there. True. True. My body was covered. But I ain't gonna lie, when I got off the water, yeah, I felt like that. And when I had first started going to that gym, you know, before I started doing the uh, water aerobics and stuff, you know, I felt like that too because that particular gym, um, that intimidated me. That gym really intimidated me because everybody uh, looked perfect, you know, until I started doing the water aerobics with the older people and stuff. But at that gym, everybody looked perfect, you know, and you look like that. They perfect, you know, and you know they talking, you know. But see, I, like I said, I came to a point in my life, you know what, if this is what you want and you see it, Fuck what somebody think. Fuck what other people think. You know, it's about what you think. You know. Language. It's about what you think. And, you know, I can't let if, I can't let if I'm going to the gym and people looking at me or whatever stop me from toning my body. This would have been better Getting my body the way, right. Getting my body the way I want it to look. You know, getting it back to the way it used to look instead of like this. The big old tie. You in the emergency room. You know. Well, it's okay. I'm not gonna let it. What? I'm not gonna let you. What are you talking about? 
And you trying to put me in an emergency room. How? You know, tomorrow, the lowest percentage of rain is 80%. And you talking about, that's book to the store. It's bad enough, we might not even get out till tomorrow. But I, I just feel like this hood went to crook. I don't care if it rain on me. I got to get to the gym. So if it's raining, you're going to still get out here? If I got to, I got to get to the gym. I got to get How? to the gym. How? You're going to be slipping in the mud. Somebody going to push me out it. So you want them to come out there, get wet, and push you out the mud? They can come back in and get dry. I have to go. You I have to go. This last week, I think. Yes. No, I didn't miss last week. I missed Monday. Because I thought it was yesterday. I thought it was Tuesday. But she said it was for Monday. I missed Monday. You know, that, that hurt my feelings because I don't like missing days when I'm going there. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually like physical therapy. The, the bitch hurt. But, you know... I don't know. It's like afterwards I have this sense of accomplishment, you know? Call me crazy. It might sound stupid, but that that's just what it is. I have this sen sense of accomplishment once I'm finished, you know? Even though I'm, like, walking like, you know, you know, like that and stuff, you know? Still. Oh, uh, but, yeah, um, like I see. My body took a long time to heal, and I feel like now it's finally starting to get to where it needs to be. And that's why, you know, like with these sugars, I just have to really pay attention to them. You know, keep an eye on my sugars, make sure they don't drop too low, uh, but don't get too high either, you know, so. You know, and I've just been really dealing with pain like here like from here, you know, and then neck pain, it is a lot. So, but anyway, it is what it is, y'all. You finished, bitch? So, I'm sorry, y'all. I was, I was talking too much. I was running on, but I, I, I don't know. Go ahead. I was on. running on. They don't people though. you want to talk to. Bitch, I talk to. Don't do it. No, you don't. You don't talk. You don't yeah. talk to the girl. You don't you talk don't to me, to beloved. Uh, it's okay, beloved. It's okay, beloved. It's all right. All right, beloved. It's okay. I started messing with her. Ooh, don't do that. I started messing with her. And so she was fucking with me. So I started fucking with her. And I called her beloved. It's okay, beloved. So. And she don't like that. So anyway. Y'all, with that being said, we hope y'all enjoyed this video. We love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with us. And until next time, we're going to plant it down and dig you later. Because I know y'all can pick up what we are putting down. You hear me? Peace, y'all. Kenny. Yeah. How can. you know they can? Because they can. They can what? They can pick up what we putting down. What we put down? Conversation. Eating. <coughs> <coughs> I guess. Anyway, y'all. Later, y'all.